my rhythm in August is a little bit slowly. Anyway, I taken the time to put together some of the best upcoming PC team base RPGs. Let's see them. This gritty anime war story takes place in a near future world where wars and global shortages have led to an upending of the international order. As new superpowers emerge, a second Cold War threatens to turn hot. Commanding a squad of soldiers, players will investigate rumors of a mysterious code name bakery that could have massive implications. In terms of look and feel, Reverse Collapse is what would happen if Valkyria Chronicles were a purely team-based game with a more futuristic setting. While it's not confirmed, we'd be very surprised if there was an ample opportunity to delve into each squad mate's backstory and form bonds with them. We'll find out later this year as Reverse Collapse is scheduled to launch later this year. On Steam. If you're looking for a full-blow JRPG adventure with a deep setting and detailed story, Monochrome Mobius should be right up your alley. The game follows Oshto, a young man in search for his long-lost father in a fantasy world reminiscent of early Japan. Monochrome Mobius has all the old marks of quality JRPG, from a unique battle system to a memorable cast of cards to eye-popping cutscenes. There's not long to wait either, the game is scheduled to launch on the 19th of October 2022 on Steam. Sabotage Studios Sea of Star is visually breathtaking and wouldn't look out of place alongside some of the best JRPG of the late 90s. Its environments, cutters and even menus feel meticulously crafted, ensuring that players will want to explore every corner of its world. Sea of Star's retro credibility is taken a step further by a soundtrack composed by Yasunori Mitsuda of Chrono Trigger fame. While there's plenty to look at in the world that Sea of Stars brings to life, the game also has a high level of interactivity. Crafting system, fishing and even a board game are among the diversions available. You can even jump, climb and swim through the environment as if the game were a platformer, giving moments a level of versatility not commonly seen in JRPGs. Sea of Stars is expecting to release in 2023 on Steam. A tactical superhero game with some of the biggest names in pop culture could be a slam dunk. Especially one developed by Firaxis, the studio behind XCOM. That's what we're getting with Marvel's Midnight Suns. Each hero's array of superpowers is represented by a card and you'll build each card's deck before going into battle. This should lead to exciting combos and tactical depth. Even if you're not a Marvel fan, Midnight Suns promises to be a solid game from one of the most respected developers in the strategy genre. However, the developers recently announced that the release date is being pushed back with no indication as to how far, so it's unlikely that the game will arrive until the end of 2022 at the earliest. On Steam. One of service. All cut games, the studio behind the excellent Pathfinder video game adaptations is taking one of the most beloved franchises in gaming. Rogue Trader is a CRPG set in a Warhammer 40k galaxy filled with all the terrifying diamonds and bloodthirsty aliens you can shake a chainsaw at. Since the player will be commanding a rogue trader expedition, it's likely that there will be opportunities to interact with other sentient species like the Alderi or Tau, unlike in other 40k games where the approach is usually to shut first and ask questions never. Rogue Trader could be one of the best games ever to visit the setting for longtime fans and newcomers alike.
Ben Dynamco usually does right by their intellectual properties, so fan of the long-running manga and anime series One Piece can rest assured that the upcoming RPG will strike all the right charts. Shipwrecked and separated on a mysterious island, Luffy and his crew must reunite, repair their ship and face a new foe. The cutters make the transition to 3D well, letting the game use the full power of current gen consoles. Better still, the music in One Piece Odyssey is composed by Motoi Sakuraba, who has previously worked on the Tales and Dark Souls series. There is still no official release date, but hopefully we will see the game on shelves by the holidays on Steam. While it's surprising that there are more cop roguelikes, For the King has been filled that gap since 2018. The sequel lets up to four players fight to save a fantasy kingdom from its tyrannical ruler, succeeding or failing together as a team. Like its predecessor, For the King 2 uses dice rolls to resolve actions, giving it the feel of a tabletop game, albeit one with an end time ruthless game master. The procedurally generated kingdom ensures that each adventure will be different, ensuring that players can come back time and again solo or with friends. For the King 2 is scheduled to launch in 2023 on Steam. Lost Adelands feels like Divinity meets Fire Emblem, a combination that's sure to pique the interest of RPG enthusiasts of all stripes. The tactical heroic combat of Fire Emblem makes each battlefield encounter a life or death scenario for all involved, while the more realistic look and CRPG feel of Divinity give the game a more serious tone. Sieges, boss battles and huge monsters shake up the tried and true combat formula and Lost Adelands class and skill system allow enough customization for multiple playthroughs. There's no official release date yet, but since it's listed as Q3 2022, there shouldn't be much longer to wait before we can enter the battle of Benario. Through its true the Spellforce series is something of a cult favorite among strategy gamers and the upcoming Conquest of Eo brings turn-based gameplay to the franchise. Exploring a 4X style fantasy world, you'll hire minions, research spells and of course smite your enemies with arcane power. Between delving ancient grimoires to reveal their secrets, forging artifacts and devising new runic combinations, Spellforce Conquest of Eo could make players feel like a mighty wizard more than any other game in a long time. Although the game is listed as coming soon, the fact that it was announced only recently suggests that it could still be a ways off. Something to look forward to on Steam. Understandable, Ms. Lafontaine. At their best, the Jagged Alliance games feel like summer blockbusters transformed into RPGs. The third entry in the series hopes to continue that tradition, putting players in the fictional nation of Grand Sien. After a paramilitary coup results in the disappearance of the small country president, a team of mercenaries are hired to rescue the head of state and restore order. Jagged Alliance 3 promises a living world and your ability to train the locals in guerrilla warfare will determine whether you can hold territory against the Cope's forces. The settings shelled out, rundown buildings remind players of the cost of war at every turn. No release date has yet been announced for the game on Steam. This zombie survival RPG shows a world where society has collapsed. Starting with a single survivor, you'll need to build and fortify a base. More people will come to live there, meaning you'll need to provide food, medicine and protection for a growing population. The combat in Urban Strife places heavy emphasis on each carter's choice of weapon. Pistols and assault rifles can quickly rack up damage with cumulative hits, while shotguns and explosives are needed to clear the odds of zombies roaming the world. It should be released later this year. On Steam. Dark 
Tactics Org is often held up alongside Final Fantasy Tactics as one of the greatest strategy RPGs of all time. Despite that, the franchise never really took off and fans have spent years hoping that it would make a return. The wait ended early this year when Square Enix announced Tactics Org Reborn. It is where scarce at first, but now it appears that Reborn will be a remake rather than a sequel. Given Square Enix's recent propensity for updating their classic titles, that's not entirely surprising. Players who have never had a chance to try Tactics Org will get to see in it full splendor and the rebalanced combat and class system will give veterans a new experience in a beloved game. On Steam. They say what goes up must come down. No, whatever talks. Fans of narrative RPGs like Baldur's Gate or Divinity looking for a chance to shape the world with First their choices should the keep an eye on it's broken hard. roads. The post-apocalyptic setting lets players take a break from swords and magic and the environment is full of real-world Australian locations appropriately redecorated after the end of the world. Rather than a simple good and evil axis, your choices will affect your character's overall philosophy based on four key ideals. You press on. Humanism puts the needs of other above all, while Machiavellism ensures that you get what you want first and foremost. Utilitarian characters make pragmatic choices that will bring the most benefit overall despite the drawbacks while nihilists assume the world is doomed and get what they can while they can. With so many different choice paths available, to say nothing of cutter builds, Broken Road has hours upon hours of potential gameplay. It's expected to release later this year on Steam. A Yudin Chronicle Rising made some waves among action RPG players earlier this year and was a hair bringer of things to come. Rising is a prequel to A Yudin Chronicle's 100 Heroes, which, as its name implies, has over 100 playable characters with whom to combo to your heart's content. If A Yudin Chronicle's Rising was the warmed up act, then the main event is sure to be a blast. This gorgeous 2.5D RPG is coming in 2023, giving players plenty of time to try the prelude before the big day. On Steam. The sci-fi noir mystery positively gushes style, whether you are investigating a bloody crime scene or fighting for your life in turn-based battles, Sunday Gold feels like a living, breathing comic book. Keep your teammates from losing their composure as stressful situations can lead them to act erratically with frightening results. Some outlets are already comparing Sunday Gold to Disco Elysium, which is high price indeed. The free prologue chapter is available for free and the full game launches on the 13th of September on Steam. This video ends here, let me know what you think about in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel and also consider supporting us through all our pages. Wish you the best. Ciao!